Hi Space Cat, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu. Welcome back to my channel. Everyone has heard about the Bermuda Triangle. Also, it's sometimes known as the Devil's Triangle. It's a section of the North Atlantic Ocean bounded by Miami, Bermuda and Puerto Rico, where over 50 ships and airplanes have mysteriously disappeared. Whilst the cause of these events remain unexplained, with aliens, technology from mythical lost continent of Atlantis, and bad weather among some of the attempts to explain it, in this week's video, however, we're not talking about Bermuda Triangle, but instead a similar region in the sky, also known as the Bermuda Triangle of space. Above the South Atlantic Ocean, between Chile and Zimbabwe, is the Bermuda Triangle of Space, also known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. This region of space is notorious for wreaking havoc on the spacecraft that enter it. But unlike the Bermuda Triangle, they don't just disappear. Here, the spacecraft lose signal or break down altogether. Astronauts that have passed through this region have reported seeing flashes of light, even when their eyes are closed, even when they're sleeping. Similar phenomena were also noted on the Apollo missions to the moon, where astronauts are outside of the Earth's magnetosphere and so beyond the protection of the Earth's magnetic field against harmful radiation. Well, is it actually that bad? Of course it is. We know that radiation is bad. It can lead to cancer. But what's more worrying is that radiation is colorless, tasteless, and odorless. So we can't really protect ourselves. Astronauts wear dosimeters, which are devices that measure their personal exposure to ionizing radiation. It sends out a warning if they reach dangerous levels. The South Atlantic anomaly is also believed to be the root cause that led to the demise of Japan's most powerful X-ray observatory, Hitomi. It was inside of this anomaly where the satellite lost its sense of direction and ultimately ended up spinning out of control into destruction. The Hubble Space Telescope passes through the South Atlantic anomaly 10 times a day. It spends about 15% of its time in there. As with most satellites, Hubble can't function when it's in this region, so it's put into a safe mode. That's where non-essential hardware will all be shut down. It's clear that the South Atlantic anomaly poses serious problems for both the equipment and the astronauts in space. It's still not quite clear exactly what causes the South Atlantic anomaly, but scientists believe it's related to the Van Allen belts and the Earth's magnetic field. A Van Allen radiation belt is a zone of energetically charged particles, mostly from solar wind, that are captured and then trapped around a planet by that planet's magnetosphere. The Earth has two Van Allen belts, and occasionally more that come into and out of existence. The South Atlantic anomaly coincides with a 200 kilometer area where the inner Van Allen belt is closest to the Earth's surface. This is where the Earth's magnetic field provides us with the weakest protection. Because our magnetic field is not perfectly aligned to the rotation axis of the Earth, that means that these Van Allen belts are actually tilted. So it's no surprise that this is where the energetically charged particles are most abundant. So is this really something that you should be worried about? Studies show that the South Atlantic anomaly is growing. The shape of its borders is also changing over time, and it's known to be less strong in some areas than others. This is likely due to the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. In the past 200 years or so, Earth's magnetic field has lost about 9% of its strength. Some people think that this could be evidence that the Earth's magnetic field is about to flip, that the poles, the North Pole, will become the South Pole and vice versa. The last time that this happened was about 
42,000 years ago. But if it happens again soon, who knows what will happen to the Bermuda Triangle of Space. Studying the South Atlantic anomaly in detail and knowing where exactly it is, is crucial for future commercial space travel and the space satellite industry. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.